As a high school senior in 1997, Brian Heber helped lead Patrick Henry to the Division III state championship. Now in his second year as the Patriots head coach, Heber is starting to restore that basketball tradition to a program that suffered through nine straight losing seasons. Our Tony Quach has more from PH. The kids bought in, they were coachable, accountable. They want the program to get back to um, respectability, and, and that's what we want as well. This year's Patriot squad has exceeded their win total from the previous two seasons combined, heading into Friday's regular season finale at Delta. It's a big step up from years past. Uh, obviously, my sophomore year we won two games. Last year we won seven games. Um, it's just a big turnaround. During their current five-game winning streak, the Patriots have won by double digits in all but one matchup, and they're holding their opponents to an average of 36 points per game. We just put in the work. Our coaches, we have good coaches. They put us through good stuff. Um, we all play together as one. If one person's not playing good, I mean, another person can step up every day, and it doesn't matter who it is. The Patriots will begin their playoff push against the Fort James Musketeers, and the winner of that game will face off against the Crestview Knights in the sectional finals. I mean, I've never played in the tournament, but I know you just have to take it one game at a time, and we just got to be ready for Fort James, take care of business the first game. After enduring nine straight losing seasons before 2022, the Patriots look to build off their strong season and begin a new chapter in the history of Patrick Henry basketball. We're trying to change the script a little bit that Patrick Henry basketball has been about. So if we get a practice in where we got just 1% better that day, compound that over the course of the season, by the end of the year we should be a pretty solid team. In Hamler, Tony Quach, Your News Now Sports. One, two, three.